Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I have another quick and simple, easy, easy project for you. This is probably one of the easiest tutorials I've ever put on my channel. This is an earbud holder and I found this really cute design on Design Bundles. I will have the link to the file in the description below the video, but it has this really cute hardware, super cute, very easy to make and it is an earbud holder. So you put this in your purse with your earbuds in it. Your earbuds aren't gonna get all tangled up. You've got a cute little hook. You can hook on your keychain. You can hook it on a hook inside your bag, on your backpack, whatever works for you. But really, really cute. Now, if you're not interested in this little button hardware, you can also make it with a cam snap. So I have an SVG link for you and there's also a PDF. So you can hand cut this absolutely very easily it's a very simple cut out or if you have a Cricut it's going to make it even easier but I thought these are going to be absolutely perfect for stocking stuffers um, a really easy thing to make all the kids have earbuds everybody hates their cords getting tangled up and this the way this works is it's a little button so you just it just slips off like that and here's your earbuds so they're not all tangled up easily come undone so when you're done you just wind them back up just like so open up your earbud holder you just place these right in the middle and it just closes together like so and again super cute very very easy so if you're a Cricut user, I'm gonna show you how to set this up in Design Space. If you're not a Cricut user, just print off the PDF, use that as a pattern and cut it out. You're probably going to want a hole punch or something to make your holes. I'll have all of the hardware, everything linked in the description below the video to create this fun version. Now, again, I also made a uh, cam snap version. If you like that, you have the cam snaps already. You can, you know, this part's optional. You don't have to add that if you don't want the hook on it but I will have all of this linked in the description below. So let's get started making some earbud holders. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. I just wanted to show you what you need to do if you're going to use your Cricut to cut this out. If you're using a PDF, you can skip ahead and skip this part and move right into assembly. So we're just going to click on upload. You're going to hit upload image, browse. You're gonna to navigate to where you save the file. I have it right here. You can see there's a DXF, a PDF, a PNG, a silhouette file and an SVG. So if you're cutting it out with your digital die cutting machine, you're going to want to use the correct file. I am using the SVG with the Cricut Design Space. So we're just going to click on that and click open. Here it is, you can name it if you want. And again, I'll have this file linked in the description below the video where you can grab it. And it's going to show up right here in our recently uploaded images and we're going to click insert image. You're going to notice that when it comes in, it looks really small. So let's make our screen a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on here. And she has graciously put the measurements in here. Sometimes when you upload things to Design Space SVGs, it resizes it. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but it does. So she's got two different options here. One has the hole in the center, and that means that the hook is going to be in the center or the one in the top. I prefer the one in the top. That's the one we're going to make, but you can make either one. The first thing you need to do is right click and ungroup. That's going to allow us to deal with each one separately. So I'm going to, first of all, get rid of this one that has the hole in the middle. I want the hook to be at the top, not in the middle, but you can do whichever one you want. So we're going to get rid of that one. This is the one we're going to use. And you can tell by looking at the grid on my screen, this is, and the measurements right here, this is about one inch by one inch. That's not what it should be, but she has put the measurements here. So we know that it needs to be 3.341 inches wide. So while we have just that circle selected, we're gonna go up here on the top menu and we're going to put 3.341, hit the tab key, and that should automatically change the height to the 2.905 that she's got listed there. So it looks perfect. So I'm just going to go over here and delete the letters. We don't need to cut that out. And we're good. So if you wanna make a whole sheet of these, you could duplicate this or we can just click make it. 
and we were doing a 12 by 12 sheet. So you could change the quantities here. Say you wanted to make six of these, you could hit apply and it will put six of them on the mat. We're just going to make one for the video. So I'm just going to change that back to one and click apply. And that's everything we need. So we're going to hit continue. You're going to select your Cricut device. Once it finds your Cricut device, you're going to choose your material. So I'm just going to click on browse all materials. And what I like to do is just type in leather. So then you see all of your leather options. I like to, I'm using the Cricut faux leather. So I know any option that has the C right here is set for Cricut brand products. So I am using the Cricut faux leather. I have tons of that from mystery boxes. So I'm going to use that one. So we're just going to click on that, but you can choose any of these. We're going to click done and it's telling us to put the fine point blade in. That is the one I would recommend. So let's go over to the Cricut. So you can see I have loaded the faux leather with the pretty side down on a green mat. Before you click over here and eject, always check your image and make sure that it actually cut. So let's see, oh yes, we check it cut. If we check that and it hadn't cut, we could go back over here and just click the C, even though it's not blinking, you can click the C and it will recut, but we're good. It looks like everything cut through. So let's assemble. Okay. So we have our design all cut out and you can see how beautifully the Cricut cut out the faux leather. The trick is to use the fine point blade and put the shiny side or the pretty side down. And then we're going to release our object and you can see it cut out the three holes beautifully. So let's set that aside. And then we have our two pieces of hardware. This is our stud and this is our stud with our hook. The first thing we're going to do is go over here on the side that has the largest hole and we're going to place the screw in, which has like a Phillips head on it. We're going to place that screw in through the front side of our leather in that large hole, just like that. And then we're going to take the stud and place that right on top and it just screws into place. I'm just going to make sure you get them lined up nicely so that it starts threading. And you can use a screwdriver if you need to tighten that up. So we've got the stud into place and the screw is on the pretty side of our project. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to put the screw end of the hook through the back side. So we're looking at the screw on this side, the stud sticking up on this one. And then we're going to take the hook and just screw that right onto that one and tighten that one down. This one has a flat head on it, so we're just going to use our screwdriver and tighten that one up. So we've got the screw here and we've got the back of the stud here. And this, you guys, that's it, you're done. This is finished. All you do is fold it over and you have this pops right over that stud and that creates the earbud holder. So let's try it out. Got some earbuds here. Just going to wrap them like you do. Just like so. We're going to place them right inside our holder. And you just fold it up. And it's as easy as that. Super cute. Your earbuds aren't going to get all tangled up. You could tuck these inside if you want, however it works for you, but really easy. You've got this, you can hook on your keychain, you can hook it in your purse on a clip, whatever you need to do. But how easy is that? And what a great stocking stuffer. Another alternative would be to use cam snaps. So this one I have just cut out. So we would just put the cam snap, the part that looks like a tack on the back, take one of the 
backs. There's a male and a female back. It doesn't matter which one you use. Put that on top. Use your cam snap connector tool. Squeeze just like that. And then again, we're gonna put another tack on this one. So on the pretty side, you've got the two tacks. Put the other back, the opposite. If you use the male on that end, use the female on this end or vice versa, vice versa. <laughs> Squeeze. And then you could also make the same thing this way. You could still add the hook if you wanted to. Totally optional, but uh, that is another alternative. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I think this is going to be a really great stocking stuffer. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so that you're notified every time there is a new video. As always, thanks for watching. Never stop making. See you. Bye-bye.